tell me a little bit about your new book, The Bone Tree. Well, it's hard to say a little bit about an 800-page novel. <laughs> it's the second volume of a trilogy that's about a series of real-life murders that occurred near where I lived in Natchez, Mississippi. But on a larger scale, it's about the classic Southern themes of family and sort of hidden sin and all, all those uh, classic Faulknerian issues, I guess. Natchez Burning broke out so big, and, and it's the first of a trilogy. A lot of people will just assume that's the first Ben Cage they book. Do. I've been arguing with yeah, people for weeks about this. Yeah, and they're shocked. They go back and find out there are three more. And honestly, the first one is certainly the defining one, you know. Natchez Burning, I can't believe I was this naive. It started out to be a one volume novel, and I thought it might be 800 pages. I pretty soon realized it would take two novels and maybe more, and I was really in a quandary, and I was in that crazy state where you don't know what day it is, what time it is, whatever. Pulled out on Highway 61, and a truck hit my driver's door going 70. So here I was, normal guy, great life. It took my leg off, tore my aorta, shattered my other leg, broke all these bones, was in a coma for a week. Yeah. So when I came out of that, I suddenly just realized life is short, and I just didn't care. Okay, so I thought, I'm not gonna pull a single punch and let the chips fall, and they fell. I mean, in less than a year, I lost my publisher, changed agents, my whole life changed. It's funny, people say, see what happens when you follow your bliss? See how great it turns out? No, you follow your bliss, it's like Jerry Maguire, man. You lose everything <laughs> you lose first, everything. Yeah. and then yeah. you gotta claw your way back up. How do you personally capture the beauty and the tragedy of the South. Really, the South is, um, to me, while the rest of America has become essentially homogenous, the South is different. When you go to Mississippi, trust me, you know you're somewhere. Sure. It's not just like the last place you left, you know? And so if you grow up in a place like that, it just becomes part of your DNA, what that Southern atmosphere is. You don't even think about it, but, but you're thrust into the middle of um, probably, I would say, the the crucible at the heart of America right now, which is race. And when you grow up in a, a true deep South Southern state, you just, uh, you know that in a way other people don't. Yeah. And so if you're willing to tell the truth about it, that's the thing. Greg, thank you so much for being here today. It has been an absolute honor. It's lots of fun. Thank you. And thank you for watching A Word on Words. I'm JT Ellison. Keep reading. You're in a band with some pretty well-known people. <laughs> yeah, a few moderately known writers, yeah. Stephen King, Amy Tan, Dave Barry. It's all for charity, but as Amy Tan says, we have so much fun doing this, we would kill whales to be able to do it, so <laughs> don't give us any credit, all right? <laughs>